Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Mitral regurgitation is the most sophisticated valvular disease for evaluation and approaching uh, practically. The other valvular disorders are very simple and easy to approach them, grade them, and treat them. We have very clear guideline for, all, and most of them are easy to approach and perform whatever we need it. But in mitral regurgitation, the, uh, completely different. It's different world. In many cases, has many condition, many situation. We divide it to the structure or function on each of them approaching, grading, will be completely different. And it's very, really, very really complex. And for that reason, most uh, of the cases of moderate to severe MR need a multi uh, disciplinary approach means a cardiac surgeon, cardiologist, interventional, cardiology, imaging specialist, ICU specialist, everything involved and make decision, especially when it goes to the grade of the moderate to severe or severe. In this one, uh, and uh, I am going to try to give that easy way to practically approach when we are facing with the patient has MR. As you know, the MR, when it goes beyond the mild, it can uh, pass through two stages. One stage is compensated, means all those changes, volumetric and pressure changes, the body effect on the heart, but those changes correspond with the body compensation, especially heart, and function goes almost to the normal, but with different level. But at one stage, those compensation cannot be tolerable. And that time, heart start functioning completely, especially left and even uh, left ventricle and left atrium and other structure, right ventricle, lung, everything. It will be affected and go to the stages decompensated. That is almost uh, irreversible. Our job and responsibility as a tech, as a family medicine, as cardiologists, is that we detect and diagnose those cases at the early stage before it, they go to the decompensated phase, means at this level. We are we just, we have to keep in our mind. Forget about those many guidelines every six months, every year, blah, blah, blah. We have to follow up. No, we have to think uh, about everything and put together and make decision how we approach the patient with the MR. Now let's see what is the easiest and uh, most practical approach to the patient with the MR. 